Hans Tucker with Delta Drive Designs. Welcome back for another episode on making a tube straightener. Over here on the M677, I've got uh, a bunch of fuel line, brake line, etc. that I need to run, a uh, transmission line. Uh, and to do that, I'm to be more efficient or more cost effective, I'm buying uh, rolls of either uh, stainless or aluminum, uh, like 3 8 half inch, quarter inch tubing. So I've uh, because it's in a roll, I got to straighten it. And, you know, they sell straighteners, they're like a hundred bucks, uh, thereabouts. So I went ahead and quickly designed one real quick based on a three eighths inch tubing. And I had a bunch of these, I don't know, they're like 17 millimeter, uh, inner diameter, um, uh, uh, bearings. And so I had them left over from my CNC, uh, router project, which I got over here. So let's see if I got a dimension written on these guys. Uh, find one. Not quite done with this guy, but that'll be another video. Yeah, there's 17 by 40s by 12s. And so I had these open race ones I got a bargain for like 10 years ago. And I decided they were not a good fit for a CNC. So I replaced them with some actual closed ones. So I had a bunch of those left over. So I went ahead and just made a, a carriage for it real quick. And all I had to do is design one and then print it three times. It took like six hours to print this on the bamboo. And then I went ahead and squeezed a little bit of molly grease in each one just to give it a little, little lubrication because they're not the best bearings. Um, and then all I'll do is I'll just slap these together like that. And, oop, did I get, oh, I got too many bearings. Huh. Like that and then go ahead and I'll run some screws through these and I'll hold it together and then I've got myself a nice straightener I just run the the coil tube through it so let me get it screwed together and we'll go ahead and try straightening some all right we got it all screwed together I just used some uh some number eight wood screws inch and a quarter and it worked perfect and you just kind of hold it tight and then just alternate the screws you know one this way one the other you know one through one direction, one through the other direction, just kind of get compression from both sides. And I got a roll here of 3 8 aluminum, and I went ahead and got a starter piece. Let's go ahead and roll a chunk of this. Got a starter length straight so that I can feed it through. Yeah, it's working pretty good. The only, only thing I'm noticing, and it's probably a problem with all of them, especially with aluminum, is you don't want to just ram it on because where the first bearing is hitting, it's causing a tiny little dent. So that's just a, a lesson learned but otherwise. I mean, yeah, just want to go get it kind of straight. And this, That's great. Man, this thing only took, I don't know, 30 minutes to design, 10 minutes to put together with the bearings I had on hand. <laughs> yeah, that works really good. Except for the little dents I made on that first attempt, but now I know. Wow, that works great. Let's go and straight some more. It's as straight as an arrow. Can't beat that. So, you want to get it kind of straight to start with, so we're not forcing it into the corner. Oh, it's really good. All right, well, I guess I'll go ahead and upload this on Thingiverse. It printed pretty good. I uh, used a bamboo, uh, bamboo Carbon X, or was it the bamboo? I can't remember. Whatever, it was the bamboo one, the Kickstarter version. Um, yeah, PLA, 12 bearings, some screws. 
and I got some straight. Uh, this is going to be for a trans uh, transmission cooling line. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll try it out on stainless when I get to the fuel system, but I imagine it'll work just as well. Uh, I probably won't have the problem the as ease of denting as the aluminum because I only put two dents in it when I first started just because I didn't know. Now I do. Cool. Good deal. Thanks for watching. Until next time.